Welcome back to Logic 101, I'm William Spaniel, and this lecture is on the associativity replacement rule. There are two versions of this rule, but they're both very basic, so this lecture shouldn't take much time. Let's get to it. Imagine that we had three simple sentences, or complex sentences, which I'm representing with P, Q, and R, and all three of those are true. You might have a temptation to write that as P and Q and R, but if you remember back to when I introduced the conjunction, I said we need to be explicit about which operator is working first. Is it the P and Q operator that's working first, or is it the Q and R operator that's working first? To resolve that, we need to put some parentheses around one of those operations. However, as it turns out, it doesn't matter which one you put the parentheses around. So you could write this as begin parentheses P and Q, and parentheses, and R, or you could write this as P and, begin parentheses, Q and R. Both of these statements are identical. Each is saying that all three of the component parts are true. The only difference is that the association between the component parts is different. In the first part, or in the first half of the biconditional, P and Q are associating themselves together. And in the second half, Q and R are associating themselves together. But these statements are identical. Hence, this is a replacement rule, and hence we call it associativity, referring back to the fact that the association between the component parts is differing in the two halves of the biconditional. So that's how associativity works with conjunctions. And actually, as it turns out, it works very similarly with disjunctions. So imagine we had a sentence or a complex statement that looked like P or Q or R, meaning that at least one of these is true, if not two or three of them are true. Like the conjunction, you have to be explicit about where the operations are working first and where they're operating second. Is P or Q operating first, or is Q or R operating first? Again, we resolve this by adding parentheses around one of the logical operations. And as it turns out, it doesn't matter which one you put first. So you could write this as begin parentheses P or Q and parentheses or R, or you could write this as P or begin parentheses, Q or R in parentheses. Either way, this is the exact same thing. It's saying that one of those component parts is true, or two of those component parts are true, or all three component parts are true. The only difference is what is associating with what, whether it's P and Q associating themselves together on the left side, or it's Q and R associating themselves together on the right side. This is trivial, which is why I'm not providing a truth table to prove that these things are true, whether you're looking at the associativity of conjunctions or the associativity of disjunctions. This is very straightforward. However, the one thing, and I've noted this before, that you can't do with associativity is mix and match your ands and ors. So if you have an operation that says begin parentheses P and Q or R, that is not the same thing as P and begin parentheses Q or R. So when you're using associativity, make sure that you're only changing the association of like operators, whether they're both conjunctions or both disjunctions. All right, that wraps up this lecture on associativity. Join me next time when we talk more about replacement rules.